Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Learning Japanese. We are doing another episode of Anime Vocabulary and the anime that we are going to be covering this time around is going to be Boku Dake ga Inaimachi which literally translates to the city where only I'm not there and this is otherwise known as Erased in its uh, localized form. And we're going to be covering the seventh episode of this show and coverage of this episode is actually going to be in two parts. This video is going to be the first part. We're going to cover four vocabulary terms in this video and in the next video we'll cover another four or five possibly. So let's list the four vocabulary terms that we're going to cover in this video. First up we have Nashi togeru, and this is going to be to accomplish, to fulfill, or to finish. Next up, number two, we have narifuri, and this is going to be one's appearance. Number three, we have waku, which just means to well up or to gush forth. And last but not least, we have the verb kawawaru, which means to join in. And so with our vocabulary terms listed, let's just go into the actual lines that they're used in in the episode. So once again, first vocabulary term is nashi togeru, which means to, to accomplish, to fulfill, or to finish. And the line that is used in, it's said by the main character, Satoru, and he says, Nashi togeru nda. Kondo kozo, kondo kozo. Nashi togeru nda. Kondo kozo. Konkai kozo. And so what this line will translate to is simply, I have to pull it off this time, for sure this time. So let's break down this sentence bit by bit. First up, well, we just have our vocabulary term in discussion, which is again, nashi togeru, and this means to accomplish, to fill, to finish. So when Satoru says this word, he's actually using it in its dictionary form, just like we listed in the list. So it's just going to be nashi togeru. And what it means in this context is the future tense, basically. So I will finish, I will accomplish, I will fulfill. We'll naturally turn that into I will pull it off. The n and the da that succeeds that just adds a kind of nuance of confidence in the lines. So we'll more stylistically turn that into a translation of I have to pull it off. And then after that, we have kondo kozo said twice and kondo kozo. Kondo just means this time, and then kozo is an emphasis that means kind of especially or definitely. So we'll turn that into for sure. And so all together, we'll have again, nashi togerunda, kondo kozo, kondo kozo, and that'll just be I have to pull it off this time, for sure this time, something along those lines. Nashi togerunda. Kondo kozo. Konkai kozo. For our next vocabulary term, we have the word narifuri, and this is going to translate to one's appearance. In the episode, it is used in a line said again by Satoru, and he says, Konkai wa narifuri kamawanai. Konkai wa narifuri kamawanai. And what this will literally translate to is something along the lines of, I won't care about my own appearance this time around. And we'll more naturally turn that into something along the lines of, forget about blending in this time. And the context is that previously he's worried about kind of blending into um, the people around him and not looking suspicious because of the thing that he's trying to fulfill. This time he's just not going to care about that at all in order to achieve his goal. He doesn't care if he looks suspicious or anything like that as long as he can finish what he has started. So let's break down that line specifically. First up we have konkai and this is just going to translate to this time. We have the particle wa marking this time as the top of the sentence and then we have a vocabulary term narifuri which means one's appearance or just my appearance or how I look or how I seem. And then we have the word kamawanai and this is going to be the negative nai form of the verb kamao which means to my Mind, to care about, to be concerned about. So if it's in the negative night form, it's going to mean to not care about, to not mind. And what exactly is he not going to care about? Well, that's going to be the vocabulary term that we have in question here, narifuri, so one's appearance. So he won't care about his own appearance. So bring this all together and the whole sentence reads once again, konkai wa narifuri kamawanai. And this is going to mean forget about blending in this time or more literally, I won't care about how I seem this time around. Konkai wa narifuri kamawanai. For our next vocabulary term, we have the word waku, and this just means to well up, to gush forth. In the sentence, in the episode, it is used in the line, Demo ore wa jibun no naka ni waita gimon no kotae ga hoshi. Demo ore wa jibun no naka ni waita gimon no kotae ga hoshi. And what this line is going to translate to is, but I want an answer to this nagging suspicion that I've been having. So let's break down this sentence bit by bit. First up, we just have demo, and this is just going to mean but. So this is basically just being used as a conjunction to the sentence that he said before the sentence. 
Right after that, we have ore, which means I. We have wa, marking ore as the topic of the sentence. Uh, then we have the word jibun, which means myself, basically, or yourself. We have a noun of a noun modification working here with the particle no right after jibun. So right after no is naka. So jibun no naka is going to be inside of myself because naka means inside and jibun means myself, so jibun no naka means inside of myself, basically. Right after that, we have the particle ni to basically mark that as a location, kind of, inside myself. Uh, then we have our vocabulary term in question, which is waku. It's going to be used in the past form here, so it turns into waita. And it is going to be modifying the word right after it, which is a noun, which is gimon, which means kind of question or doubt or suspicion. So waita gimon, we know that waku means to well up, to gush forth, so waita gimon is going to be something along the lines of a suspicion that has been welling up. We'll more naturally turn that into a nagging suspicion. Right after that, we have the particle no again because we have another noun of a noun modification. So the first noun in this noun of a noun modification is the word that we just covered, gimon, and the second one is going to be the word that appears after the particle no, which is the word kotai, which means answer or reply or response. So gimon no kotai is going to be an answer to my suspicion. If we add in the vocabulary term in question here, uh, as it modifies the word gimon, what that is going to turn into is an answer to my nagging suspicion. Uh, then after that we have the grammar pattern that is ga hoshi to mean to want something and so ga hoshi is going to be modifying the noun of noun modification that we just covered so this is going to be i want an answer to the nagging suspicion that i have and then we combine that with the whole rest of the sentence and it all turns into but i want an answer to the suspicion that has been welling up inside of me demo ore wa jibun no naka ni waita gimon no katai ga hoshi demo for the last we have return that we're going to cover in this part one of two parts, we have the verb kawawaru, which means to join in. And in the episode, it is used in the line Ore ni wasa, Satoru ga betu jin ni nata. Iya, betu no jinkaku ga kawawata mitai ni mitanda. Ore ni wasa, Satoru ga betu jin ni nata. Iya, betu no jinkaku ga kawawata mitai ni mitanda. And what this line will translate to is something along the lines of it's as if you've become a completely different person or more like you've gained another personality. So let's break down this sentence bit by bit and see how it translates to that. First up we have ore niwa and this is just going to be ore which means I. And then we have the double particle of niwa and what this will translate to is just basically to me or from my perspective kind of. Right after that we have the utterance of sa and what this is is basically just a nuance that kind of suggests assertion. Right after that we have the word satoru and this is just going to be the name of the person he's talking to. We have the particle ga marking satoru as the subject. We have the word betsujin right after that which translates to another person. Then we have the grammar pattern that is ni naru to mean to become and naru here is going to be in its plain class form so it's nata instead of naru so that becomes betsuji ni nata and that's going to translate to have become a different person. Then there's kind of a pause in the sentence with the ellipses uh, then we have the word ya which means no kind of a retortion of what he just said and now he's going to correct himself he's going to say betsu no jinkaku and this is going to be a noun of noun modification betsu just means another and uh, then we have jinkaku which means personality or character so betsu no jinkaku is going to be another personality or another character. So that's going to be a correction to the word he previously said, which was Betsujin. He's now correcting another person to instead mean another personality. We have the particle ga marking Betsu no Jinkaku, another personality as the subject. And then we have the verb that is performing as a subject, which is the vocabulary term that we're talking about here. Kuawaru, which means to join in or to accede. And so this is going to be in its plain past form, so it turns into kuawata. And this is going to translate to a different personality has joined in, basically. Right after that, we have the phrasing mitai, which means like, basically. So it's as if or it's like a different personality has joined in. Then we have the particle ni, marking this as a kind of thing. Uh, then we have the phrasing mietanda. And what this will translate to is kind of to be seen or to appear. So it appears as if a different personality has joined in. That's what the second part of the sentence will translate to. If you combine everything together here, we have, once again, it's as if you've become a completely different person, or no, more like you've gained another personality. Ore ni wa sa, Satoru ga betsu jin ni natta. Ya, betsu no jinkaku ga kawawata mitai ni miyatanda. Ore ni wa sa, Satoru ga betsu jin ni natta. Ya, betsu no jinkaku ga kawawata mitai ni miyatanda. 
And so yeah, those are the four vocabulary terms that we're going to cover in this part one of two parts for the seventh episode of Bokumachi. Uh, check out the next video that will come out after this if you want to learn some more new words.